So, let's just start with a new single. Mm -hmm. I played it all the way down from Suffolk. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard the original and I've heard all three of the remixes. Oh wow, okay, yes. Yeah. So I've got I've got it in my head. It's a it's a ladies anthem. Yes. Was that a conscious decision or did you just want to come out with a great pop song? I just wanted to come out with a great pop song. Um, I wrote, um, oh my gosh, with um, a writer called Ali Tennant, who's a very, very good friend of mine, but he's also penned in hits for JLS, um, Britney Spears, Lamar, to mention a few. So, um, very talented guy, and whenever we get together, we always have a laugh, we always have a joke. So, um, we were just talking about relationships and situations, and um, that's what came up. And um, as soon as we penciled it in, we said, yeah, this could be a little bit of a ladies' anthem, but um, we hadn't actually put it down on the backing track yet. The backing track was done by um, Labyrinth, who's done Tiny Temper Pass Out. Um, so as soon as we put it down, that was it. We knew it was it. We knew it was a hit, and we knew that's the sound that we wanted to come with. So it just all went from there. Okay. And, I mean, what are your hopes for the single? What would you be happy with? Me? Yeah. I'd be happy with the top 20. Okay. I'd be happy with a top 20 single. I'd be fantastically happy. For me, it's always hard when you've been in a group to find your individual niche or what you think is you. Mm -hmm. And I had to find a sound. I experimented with loads of different things to see my growth from where I've been in Mystique and where I am now. And when I was in Mystique, I was a little girl. I'm now grown. So, you know, the issues and stuff I'm covering now is not something that I'd speak about in Mystique, and the stuff that I'm wearing now is nothing that I'd wear. I'm gonna ask you when about I was it. in Mystique. <laughs> so, I just wanted to show my growth, as in where I've been, my journey, and where I am now. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. Yeah, I like that. Thanks, I don't have any more questions. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, obviously, your time in Mystique, how do you think the music scene has changed since you were coming up in the charts then and you, you were competing in the charts then and actually weren't competing against any other girl groups at the time? It was, oh, yeah, that's true. you guys were just you, you didn't have any other, yeah. you know, female R&B vocalists at the time that you that's were coming right. up against. Now, obviously, there's, there's quite a few there's starlets loads. that there's you're going to be competing with. And loads and loads. What, what's your, I guess, not concern, but... What do you think? How do you think things have changed? And I think the music industry there? has changed drastically. When we was in the stick, there wasn't so much, you know, online computer technology, mm. everyone being able to download it. That wasn't really too much of an issue when we was in Mystique. Um, but since then, obviously, the online has kind of opened the music industry up, which is a good thing because now you don't have to listen to what you're force fed. You can mm -hmm. go and find exactly what you want to do. And that's a great thing because off of that, a lot of new scenes have come about. And at the time, there was just guitar bands. The music industry goes around in 360s every now and again. And for a while, there was no pop, there was nothing urban, mm -hmm. there was no funky, there was no nothing. It was just guitar bands. But from the back of Funky House, it's kind of brought it forward. So it's like another movement, just like the garage scene done for Mystique back in the day. And you're part of that movement because I know you did a track with Deneo. That's right. And, you know, Get Out of My House. And how do you think that the underground reacted to that track? Do you know what? I got, I got love for the Get Out of My House song and I loved it. I think Deneo is a fantastic talent. And I think the whole internet has opened artists to work with different artists mm -hmm. because you can contact them directly through their Twitter, through their them, Facebook, yeah. <laughs> through anything. So everyone's kind of accessible now and the accessibility is making people mix and create something new. So I definitely think it's a great thing of the music mixing and the way the industry is now because you can do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a label behind you to kind of push you anymore. And what's quite, I think what is quite unique about you is that you've been part of both movements that's right so you know you I guess you've come like you said you've come around and it must be quite exciting to have been there and gauge all that experience yeah. and bring it along with you which is really it's cool. very it's exciting and it's nerve-wracking at the same time because obviously when I'm in Mystique I have a support system of two other people mm. but now it's just me by myself the industry's changed, I've got a different image, I've got a different sound. I didn't really know how people were going to perceive it, but we put the video up on YouTube last week, mm -hmm. it's already had over 100,000 hits. Madness. Do Didn't you think that has it. anything to do with what you're wearing in the video? Um, <laughs> I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Yeah. I would like to think so, but no, I just think people have kind of, they've got it. They've got exactly what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. 
at the end of the day, as an artist, you have to keep on regenerating yourself and, and, and become current every single time. Come with a complete different image. You have to keep people enticed and keep people interested. So you're that's enticing what I'm, your audience. That's right. So that's what I wanted to do with Oh My Gosh, my whole new image. Obviously going into the jungle. I've done a lot of things that I never thought that I would do. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a lot of fears before I went to the jungle. I hated flying, hated heights, hated everything about the outdoors. But what I'd done when I was there, jumping out of a plane at 12,000 feet, tight roping across the jungle, it made me have a new self-confidence mm -hmm. in myself. So when I came out of the jungle, I was like, yeah, okay, ready to go, it's my time. So would you say that you were quite shy before you went into the jungle? Do you know, I wasn't or? quite shy, but when I'd done I'm a celebrity, you never ever know how reality is going to take you mm. when it comes to reality TV. They either love you or they hate you. Mm. So it's a gamble going in there. Mm. You know, because after a while, you remember the cameras are there in the beginning, but then you're just living there. Mm. So you have to just be you. You can't be anybody else but you. Yeah. But I had a fantastic time when I came out. I got a really, really warm reception. Everyone loved it. You've done well. I think you were Thank one you. of the ones that done well, which Thank is, you. is good. And I guess it does. I mean, to, to do something like that, it's, it's taking you completely out of your comfort zone. And completely. And you just have to be you. I don't know how anyone could be anything but themselves in an environment exactly. like that, to be honest. Exactly. It's harsh to sort of say that somebody's playing up in that situation. No, you can't. So you just have to be you. And after the jungle, I came out with the renewed energy. I said, you know what? This is just my time. I've got to do it now. So after the jungle, we already knew that we wanted you to do Oh My Gosh because I've written it before I went into the jungle. Because I was going to ask, I mean, did you did you write it and record it before or I wrote when it you came out? I wrote it before I went into the jungle. Most so you were planning your comeback already? I was planning it already. Yeah, okay. Planning it already, but, um, you know, I, was, I wrote album and stuff, was half of it was kind of done before I went into the jungle. As soon as okay. I came out, um, OMG was mixed and stuff, and I came out, I heard that, I was like, yeah, this is it, let's go.